In ancient Rome, when a conquering army entered into the city, they entered in carrying a banner that was a giant eagle. It was the sign of power, it was the sign of the imperial power, the power of the emperor, who was seen as a god. Well, that's what Pilate and the world expected when Jesus Christ, the king, entered into this world. It was a power of domination. It was an ambitious power. It was one that hated anything that was weaker than itself. Well, this king is different. This king doesn't hate weakness. As a matter of fact, he takes it on as a way of conquering the world because he conquers the world out of love. He doesn't hate it. He loves it. And to love it, he couldn't be fully possessed by it because he was not of the world, but he's very much in it. And so what he did is he came and planted his throne in the midst of this world from which he would rule. It was the throne of the cross. And from the cross, the king would show us the way to eternity, to salvation. The cross was his triumphant banner. So here's your challenge for this week. Choose a mortification, choose a sacrifice, some way that you can say no to yourself that we can use to plant the cross, the banner of the king in the middle of this world. And that sacrifice will be the one that we carry through Advent and it'll transform us for Christmas, for the coming of the king. Don't forget to subscribe here for the Two Minutes to Virtue weekly challenge and take the challenge every week.